Hey friends, Brent here from Daydox, and I want to give you a quick update on Free Burma Rangers and some exciting new outreach that's happening on the Francis Chan film, on a project called The Miraculous, and then some Zoom conversations that maybe some of you would want to join. So here we go. Free Burma Rangers, the movie, is about to get released all over the world. We're hearing stories about people watching the film and God using it to minister to them. If that's the work that God is doing and God wants to keep doing, then we want to be a part of it and enable it. So we're going to push it out as far as we can in the places we're allowed to release it for free. We're getting it translated into 20 to 30 languages. So you can be praying for that. Pray for all the translation, pray for the hearts of people who would see it, pray for the algorithm to get it in front of the right people and that God would use it. The Francis Chan film, we did three days of interviews in the studio, three full days basically. And this is the bulk of his interview that will be in the movie. It was just really, spirit-led, meaningful time. You know, this Francis film we've been working on for two years now, and I would love to get it done, but we really feel, and Francis feels too, that we're in a time of waiting right now. Um, we are trusting God will make it clear when we film the ending of the movie and how he uses Francis's voice to communicate something to us all. So in the meantime, we will wait and I will talk about the third project, which is Miraculous. So I'm going to give you the pitch. I'm going to say Lord willing first, though, because we pray that God turns this into what he wants it to be. So Lord willing, Miraculous will be an audio documentary series, a podcast series. It's each episode about 15 minutes that tells a story of something around the world that happened that's hard to explain apart from divine intervention. So for example, you may have heard about in Turkey, the earthquake, terrible devastation. What most of us didn't hear is that several places around the city, kids were rescued from the rubble. Many days later, sometimes a week later, and when the rescuers asked, how did you survive? These children in different parts of the city gave the same answer. The kids said a man in white appeared. He gave me bread, he gave me water and he spent time with me. There are thousands of these stories happening every day. So right now we're working on three pilot episodes. We're figuring out the style and we're building out the team. Each episode translated into multiple languages. The stories of the Lord beamed all over the world so that people can encounter him. So that's the quick update. You know, the other thing that's going on is that myself and a few others have um, either quit our other jobs or the Lord funneled us out of our other jobs, if you know what I mean. And we are full time at Daydox now. The Lord has been providing and teaching us a lot in the process, and we're really grateful. And also, we realize that maybe uh, we should start having meetings with people that might feel called to support us. Missionaries often like look for or pray for 50 to 75 people or churches or families that could support them. Um, if that might be on your heart that you would want to talk to us about that, I'm going to put a link below and why don't you click it and schedule a Zoom. Let you discern whether God might be calling you to pray, be in a prayer team, whether he might be calling you to be one of the supporters um, to help this ministry monthly continue going. Um, or maybe he's calling you to connect us to other people that you think we need to talk to. If you feel led to jump on a Zoom, um, I am grateful to talk to you. Um, so may the Lord bless you and keep you. I pray for a good rest of the day for you. God bless.